today we are going to discuss about unit number 9 which is all about polygons and coordinates the attainment target for today's lesson is to classify 2d and 3d shapes by identifying their properties by the end of this lesson you will be able to compare and classify geometric shapes including all types of quadrilaterals based on their properties and sizes what is a polygon yes you are right a polygon is a two-dimensional shape formed with straight lines some of the examples are square triangle pentagon octagon hexagon i have pasted some of the links here which will help you make polygons using online geoboards. That's very interesting. Here are some of the examples. I'm going to give you a demo of how to use the online geoboard to make the polygons. Here you go. See this. In here, you can just stretch it out to make it a square, then a trapezium, and then you can change these points to make different shapes. See, here I am trying to draw the kite and then it has different features. You can change the colors of the shapes, whichever you want to. Then you can fill the color or just unfill it. Then you have the grids to show whether your shape are equal or not. Then you have a pencil to draw your own polygon. See, and here you have a feature of eraser. You can just erase this. And then you have a feature of refresh, which will give you the new geoboard again. What is a quadrilateral? You know that we have studied it in unit number four. Quad means four. And lateral means sides. So quadrilateral means it is a polygon with four sides, four edges, or four corners. Some of the examples are mentioned here. Here we have the types and hierarchy of quadrilaterals, or we can say family of quadrilaterals, or the tree of quadrilateral family. Kite, parallelogram, trapezoid, which is further divided into different trap, um, quadrilaterals. Trapezoid is basically known as trapezium. So we have one shape which has two names, whether it be trapezium or the, whether it be trapezoid. These all are interlinked. Then, first of all, we are going to focus on unit number 9A, which is about trapezium and kites. Some of the shapes are given here. So, we are going to study about trapeziums first. Here in this figure, you can see we have three types of trapezium mentioned here. The first trapezium is a simple trapezium, which has one pair of parallel sides, as you can see with these arrows. Then we have two right angles trapezium, in which we have two sides, straight sides, which makes 90 angle. And in the third, we have isosceles trapezium in which the side which is not parallel to each other are equal in length. Coming to the kites, I just loved kites. They are so colorful, right? You see here, a kite is basically a quadrilateral which has two sides of equal length. The first side is this which is equal to this and the other side is this which is equal to this so like this and then like this this is the line of symmetry this is another type of kite when we stretch one end to greater than 180 degree angle it makes a dart shape d a r t dart and for your information, the angle greater than 180 is known as reflex angle. 
Here is a line of symmetry of a dart shaped kite. I have mentioned some of the tasks which will help you reinforce unit number 9 and you will enjoy in studying this. Thank you so much. This was all for today. Meet you again. Bye.